Hi, I'm Cliff Cameron, KM International. This is the uh, KM 2-18X infrared instructional video. This is a three and a half by six and a half infrared. It has two zones, and we're going to go through it really briefly. The battery is charged from the factory, but first thing you should do always is plug it in and charge it before use. Nothing more than taking an extension cord, putting it in your outlet, and plugging it in here. A full night's charge will give you 12 hours of operation. One of the first things you want to do also is this has brand new tanks, so you're going to want to take these off, take them to a propane dealer, and get them purged, and then filled. Purging it gets all the air out of it and will ensure that you have a good operational propane tank comes with two of them. Once you get it, you're going to want to connect them and then you'll seat these down with the wrench. For this demonstration, I'm just doing it hand tight. If you'll notice, there are two gauges on this unit. You have a blanket pressure. Your blanket pressure should between be between 5 and 8 psi. And then you have your bottle pressure regulator and read out right here, which should be anywhere where the tanks are. For operation, you'll also see that we have a trickle charge solar panel, which does nothing more than refresh the battery and the power that's there. Do not rely on this for full days of operation. It must be plugged in overnight. To operate this unit, you're going to want to Turn on your propane bottles really slowly and just crack them in the open position. If you hear the safety valve click, you're going to want to shut them off and then turn them back on slowly. Another key factor to remember is when you're operating, you don't want your casters to go through the work. So you pull the pin and move these around from side to side. Otherwise, that ensures you will not go through your repair area. To operate this unit, it's very simple. Like I said, turn on your propane bottles, put the key in and turn it to on, and initiate the green button. Your blanket pressure will not go up until the cycle begins, but your bottle pressure should be registering. Once you push the button, the cycle is started, the igniter is igniting, and then you select the zones you want to use. You can use them independently or together based on the repair area. Again, now it is heating. To keep heating, you're going to go about seven to 10 minutes for an inch and a half to two inches of heat penetration. If you walk away from this machine, it automatically times off at 10 minutes. If you go through a 10 minute cycle, you will have to initiate the green button again because it shuts off for safety. For shutting down the operation, just turn your zones off and hit the red button. You will notice that the unit is still running because it's keeping and purging all the excess propane out of the system. Don't forget to turn off the propane so that it's completely in a safe mode. That's all there is to the operation. KM International does offer free training at the factory. I recommend coming to the factory for the training, which we will train you on the process of infrareding, and we will go over the maintenance and troubleshooting of this unit. Any questions, contact KM International or one of our authorized distributors.